High Church. In James 2, 18, it says, Some will say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without your works and I will show you my faith by my works. Now that is a scripture that has caused some confusion over the years about whether it's got to do with our salvation or something else. Now, it doesn't have to do with our salvation because our salvation is an act of grace, God's grace, and is received by faith. But it's more about how we live our faith, the obligation to live by faith, the obligation to show that we have works of faith along with our life of faith and our trust in God for salvation by faith. It's an obligation to live a life that is um, trusting in God, looking to his word, letting his word inform our life and trusting it for it to work in our lives. So when we look at that verse, it's not looking at whether we're saved or not or whether we have to show works to be saved. It's about that obligation that we have to be people of faith, that our good works demonstrate that we do have faith and that our faith is real. So I encourage you as we're looking through the book of James, make sure that you, uh, if you find a, a verse that seems somewhat contradictory, go and talk to one of our pastors or maybe look up a, um, some of the commentaries and so on so that we make sure that we're rightly discerning the word of God. So you know where to live by faith or to walk by faith and not by sight and we're to have works of faith in our lives. And you know, it's really personally encouraging when you see God come through, when you choose to have works of faith, works based on your faith in Jesus Christ and see God move because you put your faith into action. Have a great day.